there and welcome. This is Pam. I thought I'd uh, share some little thrifting things that I got. I want to um, redo my craft room. Right now it's kind of bright. Um, like uh, I do like it, but um, I think I just want to go more kind of shabby chic. Uh, the colors right now I have are kind of the hot pink, you know, green, pink, blues, and now I want to do a little softer tones. So I did go thrifting for journal supplies and um, things to redecorate my craft room. I was going to do a craft room tour, but I'm going to wait until I have that all done. I have some like little painting and uh, things to do, but I thought this was pretty, um, and I want to do uh, my room more in these, like a blue or... Uh, this kind of pink, I like blues and pinks. And I found this little jar. I guess it was supposed to be for cotton swabs. And then inside these little hooks. I don't know if they'd be for shower curtains because there's only a few of them. One, two, three, four, five. But I can hang them. I have a little um, a thing to hang stuff on. So that'd be really pretty. And this was from Cole's Olivia Ceramic Cotton Jar. So I like that. I guess I'll show you my decorating things first if you're interested. Uh, and then I went to a thrift store and I found this really pretty vase. This is hand painted, painted made in Italy. Isn't that beautiful? And I don't think there's any nicks or anything so i love that so i like this shabby chic look so i'm going to soften up my room a little bit uh, so it doesn't look quite as busy so and i got that let's see what else i got for my room i found this little um it's supposed to look like tin um switch plate cover so I got that. It's from Hobby Lobby. So I have that. And let's see. And I found this little, this looks like a vintage tray. It looks like somebody had hand painted on it. This little rose. And it says Plas M E T L, made in the USA. So I like that coral color, too, which I think goes good with pink and uh, the blue or whatever I'm going to use. And what else? I guess I'm going with kind of a rose theme. Uh, then I found this little hanging basket. If you can see that very well. So I can hang, you know, put things in this little basket like that with this handle. Pretty. Uh, okay, then I got this. I was gone all day thrifting. That's kind of bad, but whatever. Uh, this was a Waverly Garden Room. I paid three fifty for this vintage rose utensil holder. I'm going to use it to put my some of my tools in. It has kind of a crackle glaze to it. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Maybe so. So I found some great things. That's really pretty too. Let's see if I have, oh yeah, and I do have um, some little, these are 50 cents. They're little um, tea tins, which are empty, but I kind of like the way these look to put little um, decorative items in. 50 cents each so I got those mm, as far as decorating I got this a while ago I don't know if I showed this or not it was a crab tree and Evelyn tin box and um, I liked it for these flowers and I what I'm putting in it is my like my Tim Holtz ephemera in here so that's what I have in this 
box I'm repurposing. Okay, I think that is all from thrift stores as far as decorating. And now I'll show you um, what I have for junk journals. I got some of this fabric, $2.99. I think this would be great for like carpet bagger journals. Um, I just like this material. There's quite a bit of it. That'd be very pretty. So I did get that. Um, thrift store. I got these gloves. I don't have any. I don't think I have any gloves. These are pretty. I know some people repurpose these in different ways. But they'd be pretty in a shabby chic room. I have that. Um, another as far as shabby chic look. I got this. Looks like a table runner. I could take, you know, this apart, or I could put this on. I have a dresser in here that I use for storage. That's very pretty. Those little dangles. And this is beautiful trim here. So, yeah, it looks like a dresser scarf. Gorgeous. And they had half off day. So that was a good deal. I don't know how much I paid. I don't remember. So I have all this. And then this lining on the back. So I think I'll see if I can't use this on my on the dresser in here. So I have fun looking for things. I found um, this is a dollar and they are little, I want to do a elephant journal. So these are little, oh my goodness, look how tiny these little stitches are. So tiny. So I have these elephant, one, two, oh, there's different. I didn't know that. There's two elephants. There's two, I don't know what this is. She's giving him a bath there. Looks like they're planting. So those are kind of fun. Found some, <clears throat> excuse me, napkins. With a chicken salmon, which would be nice in a farmhouse journal. I found a Reader's Digest, a vintage. Oops, they had this. This is off already. Coming apart, but I, that doesn't matter to me. Look at this beautiful cover. Well, quite a few of these, but I do have to finish. I have some garden ones I need to finish, too. I think this was a dollar. 1961. This is very beautiful. Look at that. Love it. It's pretty with the blue. So I'll show you some of the books I got. I got this Stop and Look. This was at a, I think this was at a vintage um, bookstore. And I'm not seeing some of the stuff I got. I'll have to keep looking. Um, this was $3, but I think it was half off, $1.50, because it was, this vintage store was, um, I don't know why, but everything, a lot of things were half off. I don't have one of these. 1960. Stop and look. So I like that. I have quite a few of these Golden Books Prayers for Children. This is of the newer type. So this must have been 50 cents. I usually pay a dollar to two for the used ones. Pretty. This is from the vintage bookstore, The New High on a Hill. I've never seen this. Alice and Jerry Basic Reader. So I guess I do have an Alice and Jerry Basic Reader, maybe one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful illustrations. Love it. 
Wow. Hmm. Nice. More precious in gold. Um, little poems. Praise and hope. These would make pretty uh, tags, and on the other side, you could have your little uh, writings there. Psalms of praise and hope. Oh, what is oh, it said? Hmm. Okay. This is really pretty. Heart gifts from Helen Steiner Rice. Look at this beautiful cover with the aging. This would make a beautiful book. Journal. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Her hat. Heart gifts from Helen Steiner Rice. This is 68. And I thought it was pretty with, I like these colors of flowers. Heart gifts. Thankful heart. I found another um, little shopping list of Peter Rabbit. Peter hid in a flower pot. I have plant. This is from Goodwill. So I went to Goodwill thrift stores, uh, vin uh, vintage store. Here's another Helen Steiner Rice Love and Thoughts. More poems or sayings with beautiful illustrations. Like that. What year was this? 85, 85. Loving thoughts. And I have some like computer paper, I guess they call it, or stationery. Holiday time. That was Goodwill. Regularly from Walmart. Holly Letterhead. More holiday paper. Snow scene with some cardinals. So I will be uh, making some Christmas albums too. The next um, journal I'm going to make will be a Halloween journal, and then I will be making um, Christmas some Christmas ones. I found a bunch of Dick and Jane. I've got these paperback ones. Something funny and go go go. And this is. Originally it was 56, and now it's the latest, I think, 79. It's that one. Go, go, go. Renewed in 84. I think I have two of these, Dick and Jane's, and Friends. I like to use these in books. Just adorable. Beauty. That's how I learned to read was with Dick and Jane. And then we have these three. These would even make fun covers. They have a nice little finish to it. Fun wherever we are. Fun with our family. And we play outside. And I like the, the papers on this. These are a not so shiny, kind of a thicker paper. I like the feel to it. And these are little different illustrations, different uh, look to the characters. And it says, um, first, Dick and Jane stories actually appeared much earlier in the Scott Forsman Elson Basic Reader pre-primer, copyright 1930. And um, so I don't know if this is the illustrations for this. Seems like maybe. These are a little different look. So I like those. So I'm going to use these as the covers for some journals. The other books. Oops. I sent an avalanche there. 
This would be nice for a Heartland. Um, farm house type books. I thought I'd add these. And this is uh, 89 Heartland. And I have been collecting some Disney Tinkerbell. These are like embossed pages. And they're pretty thick. They're like doubled thickness. They'd be kind of fun to even just, you know, cut out around the fairies. But they've got this embossed wings and... So I have another one of those. The last book, I believe, is this one. It has this cat. It's not in a very good condition, but uh, I think I will use the pages. The Napping House. Well, you know what? I don't even know how I got this book. I didn't really intend to put this in my my uh, basket, but anyway, I got it. It's kind of funny about a grandma, and um, they just keep piling up on the grandma. Now there's a dog, cat, and then... Something scares them and they all go flying off. It's kind of a cute book. Maybe I'll just keep that for my granddaughter. Um, and then I have a um, Hobby Lobby haul too. Let's see, I have one more thing, which are, this is from the vintage store. And I cannot find, I have another bag of um, things and I have found some guess I'll have to show that next video. It must be somewhere else. Well, I found uh, Edith Holden postcards. They were originally a dollar each, and I got, I don't know, 30 of them for 50 cents each. I don't know, somehow I spent $60 at that vintage, just at that one vintage store. Anyway, I found these. I wish I could copy them, but it, I don't think I can because of the copyright patent pending. Look, at I've never seen... Um, this type before Hollywood Pattern Service printed in USA. They would make really nice covers. I'll have to find out if I could copy and make them into uh, covers. Sorry, I was thinking. Isn't that really neat? This, what is this neat? Uh, Fashion Center of the World, designed and manufactured in New York. This one is cute. I mean, they're pretty tattered simplicity. I don't know if I'm seeing a year on that one, but that's cute. Here's Advanced Patterns. I love that. This is another New York fashion center of the world. I wish there was a date on here. 25 cents. Love that. That's in good condition, that one. Look at this one. Um, Simplicity, 25 cents. Copyright by Simplicity Pattern. Uh, don't see a date on here either. Love that. This is adorable. Sim what's this one? Simplicity. Um, let's see what else. Look at this one. Another simplicity. It was 15 cents. This is adorable. Yeah, I love these. I bought all the vintage ones I could get there at that vintage store. Look at this one. Foundation Patterns. Maharam Fabric Corporation. New York. New York and L.A. and Chicago. Hmm. Fun. Fun when I open these up. 
then I just grab these. I don't even know what's in here. Ann Adams patterns. What do we have in here? Oh, look. Hmm. I like it. And the envelope I could use. That's neat, too. The Toledo Blade Pattern Department, Ohio. Here's just part of some paper, but I like that. Here's the same thing. I've fallen apart, but I could still use that. And this is that pattern. Do we have this envelope? And there's that dress, Ann Adams Original. Oh, it's so yummy brown color. Okay, have that. And then what do I have? I think next is my Hobby Lobby. So, with my Hobby Lobby haul. Show you what what I got. I I try to get what was on clearance or sale. Um, let's look at this first. This is vertical recipe keeper flip binder. It's a dollar ninety nine originally seven ninety nine. So you put it like this. So I don't know. I'll put paper or something in there and flip it in a binder or something and maybe a, a farmhouse farm book type journal on that I think these are on sale I like these magnetic bookmarks so let me see yeah I think Soology was on sale so these might have been 40 or half off I can't remember but aren't they pretty they're the magnet let me open them quick I hope I can get through this. I may get cut off at a half hour. I'm not sure. I like this vintage look to them. Yeah, so they have that magnet closure. Hey, you could just um, use, you know, those magnet sheets that you get at the hardware store to cover your um, vents that magnet stuff and you could just put your paper over and make your own but i like that very neat vintage sewing looks so two of those i uh, got some little paper bags this is a dollar 24 sacks and things i think paper studio was all on sale so it was five there's these gold um there's 12 of them maybe for christmas journals i'm thinking I got two of these. I could have got more. Maybe I should have got more, but I left some. Uh, these are a dollar, and you get how many? Twelve. Twelve in each. Little paper bags. Then, I don't know why, I thought, hey, I'll start um, using a um, journal bindery. Uh, you know, I don't have one. So instead of using a calendar, maybe I'll do this. It was 40. Can't, I would never pay 40, but it was down to 9.99. It's that shabby chic look I'm starting to like. Uh, paper Studio, six ring planner, 12 monthly tab dividers, monthly weekly calendar pages. This is a mint berry. So you could put stuff in here, the ring binder. And a fresh start is beautiful. I like that. I think I have some paper like this. Very pretty. So I think I'm going to wait until next year. 
And then I'm going to start using this. A planner, that's what they call it. A planner. What's this? This may have had a pen in it. I bet it did. But I didn't get it. No. Maybe that was just, uh, I don't know what this thing is for. Maybe, no, maybe not a pen, but um, I thought this was pretty. I didn't see a lot of this mint um, accessories, but I got a uh, Carpe Diem Bloom for $250, and originally it was $10. Sticker tablet, 501 stickers. But this would go pretty. Same type colors. Choose Joy. Good stuff. Never stop blooming. Yeah, I do have some of this type paper. So, yeah, I have some Carpe Diem, so that'll be kind of nice in here. Fresh Start is a beautiful thing. I like that for the new year. So I think that'll look nice with it. I also got... Agenda 52, double-sided daily task pages, $1.74 with six by the Paper Studio. So if you need extra pages, I have that. I got a to-do list. I didn't find anything matching, but um, I have the, this is fine to do. It's $1.24. Uh, then I found one more. Carpe Diem it was ten dollars for two fifty. Twenty four inserts. Let's just look in here. Hopefully, I don't get cut off. Yeah, Happy New Year! So this will be fun. Oh, more of the same. Well, I can use this for another year. Well, fall. Okay, so maybe you know after the next year, I'll use this one in my planner six ring planner so i've never had a planner but i thought that was fun i'll i'll do that i also got i mean oops not very interesting but for my craft room some of these white photo boxes to put things in i think these were because they're paper studio i think they were 40 or 50 percent off so i got those and was that it that doesn't seem right. I know I, I must have more somewhere. Anyway, that is a lot. But um, I just thought I'd share that with you. And the next thing I'm going to make is a um, Halloween journal. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.